so the other day I was listening to these high school students and I kind of overheard this conversation about their Christianity and their faith in spirituality. Basically, the gist of the conversation is that although they're Christians, they don't want to call themselves Christians, they just call themselves spiritual or they tend like to talk about spirituality versus Christianity because they don't want to offend someone. What if they say they're Christian or what if they say they believe in Christ and someone gets offended? I started thinking, where did these kids get that ideology? And looking back at our church history, has that been the case? Well, it hasn't. Our, our saint today is Saint Aurelius Marsilius. Today's saint, not much is known about him except that he was a missionary and um, in the modern day region of uh, Turkey. And this missionary was imprisoned for a very long time because he opposed paganism. Did he change his mind? Did he waver and say, oh no, well, I'll just call it spirituality so that I don't offend you? No, he didn't. We have a history of people who held on to their faith. Not in a weird way, not in a mean way, not a weird one, but not in a mean way. Not in a sense that I'm attacking you because you are not Christian. But just because I respect everyone else does not mean I reduce my God to mere spirituality. That doesn't work. Spirituality is part of Christianity. It is. But I do not reduce my God to it because someone else might be offended. I respect them as they speak of their God. I respect them as they speak of their gods and their beliefs and they're atheist. Maybe they don't have a God. Maybe they don't believe in the Trinity. Maybe they believe in someone else. I respect that. But I will not reduce my God to nothingness for the sake of someone else. That is hypocrisy. Yes, at times when we speak um, when we speak to each other, uh, of uh, oh, two people of other faith, we use his teachings and their faith. We integrate it because that's how we connect to each other, because some concepts are universal. But when it comes to it, will you negate Christ and say, well, yeah, I'm a spiritual person, versus saying, I'm Christian, so that you do not offend someone. And the truth is, the other person, if they were truly understanding, they should not be offended by your faith. Because I respect my Muslim best friends, my Muslim brothers and sisters, I respect them so much, and I love them so much. And I love seeing hijabi girls, because that is an expression of their faith. And just like that, I expect that same respect. And just like that from my friends, that same respect is always mirrored back. But neither I would I allow them to ever say they're spiritual so that they don't offend me, nor would they allow me to say I'm spiritual so that I don't offend them. We work on respect. Yes, you are Christian to stop denying that by saying I'm spiritual versus I'm Christian. Now, if you believe in spirituality, that's, you know, and you're not Christian, that's a different story. The video is not about you. This is about the people who are Christian, who are saying that just so I don't offend anyone else, I will refrain from speaking. Just so I don't offend anyone who um, is pro-choice, I will not say I'm pro-life. That doesn't work. I respect you, you respect me, and I am pro-life. That's it. I hope you uh, like this video. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe, and I will see you next time.